the Valley of the Kings is the place of burial of the pharaohs of the New Kingdom. 64 tombs have been found covering the 18th, 19th and 20th dynasties. These tombs are designated by KV, standing for King's Valley, and by a number indicating the chronology of their discovery. The entrance ticket allows the visit of three tombs. We started with the tomb KV2, that of Ramses IV. Ramses IV, the third king of the 20th dynasty, succeeded his father Ramses III at the age of 35 or 40 years old. He reigned for a short time from 1153 to 1147 BC. His son succeeded him under the name of Ramses V. The architecture of his tomb is simpler and less richly decorated than those of his predecessors. But the corridors are larger to allow the passage of the granite coffin, one of the largest in the necropolis. The first scene shows Rei Hoakti, the sun god, welcoming Ramses IV. The graffiti on the tomb's walls testifies the passage of many visitors, especially Copts and Greeks. In the different chambers and corridors, hieroglyphics cover the walls. Sacred funeral scenes and texts are depicted such as the Litany of Ray, the Book of the Dead, the Book of Gates, the Book of Nut, the Book of the Night, and the Book of the Caverns, which replaces the Book of Amduat. Guides are not allowed to accompany tourists inside the tombs, hence it was difficult for us, as neophytes in Egyptian mythology, to identify these different items. A priory knowledge of the Egyptian civilization is an advantage to appreciate the visits. For the first time, scenes from the Book of the Caverns is represented in the Valley of the Kings. Here we can see gods and the blessed ones in their coffins, symbolised by the ovals. We are now in the antechamber. On the walls, the Book of the Dead, which is in fact the book to go out in the day, meaning to be reborn. The ceiling of stars is decorated with the king's cartridges. In the middle of the room, a ramp leads us to the burial chamber, taken up mostly with a monumental coffin in pink granite from Aswan, measuring three meters high. At the foot of the coffin, the scene represents the ending followed by the rebirth of time in the afterlife. No doubt a way to show the eternal cycle of time. The scenes which decorate the coffin belong to the Book of the Earth and describes the sun's nightly trajectory. The Anubis all around the coffin assure the king's protection. But they failed in their mission as the coffin was broken and its cover removed, probably not long after its installation. On the ceiling, there are two large figures of the goddess of the sky, Nut. In this frame are represented the Book of Nut, a part of the Book of the Night. The god of air and sunlight, Shu, lifts the goddess above the earth. She swallows the sun disk, part of which is already in her mouth, and it travels through her body and emerges in the form of a winged scarab from her womb in the morning. The Book of Nut 
covers texts and representations of the cycles of the stars, the movement of the moon, the sun and the planets and sundials. In the part of the book covering the night is described the nightly journey of the sun as it passes through the body of the goddess. In the burial chamber, also called the chamber of gold, the dominant colour is yellow, despite the white background of the texts. Yellow evokes gold, which represents the eternal flesh of the gods. On the walls you can see the second, third and fourth hour of the night from the Book of Gates. At the second hour, Atom, the creator of the world, wakes up the latent forces symbolised by the bodies lying down, the tired ones, while the enemies of the light have their hands tied behind their backs. At each hour, the king is kneeling in Ray's bark, who shows himself at night with a ram's head. The pharaoh offers him a statue of the goddess Mat, guardian of world order and Egypt. The mummy of Ramses IV was found in the tomb of Amenhotep II, where the priests of the 21st dynasty had placed him for safety. Our next visit is to the tomb of Ramses III, the father of Ramses IV.